Hello, hello everyone. Hey guys, this is Miss Cat, live from the Weave Buddy. Um, I took a pause. Let me close that door. Now you hear all the little screaming from the kids at the pool. Um, it's not one thing, it's another, guys. So, um, I had to stop because there was construction going on. And so, hello, Mr. Daryl. How are you, honey? Hello, Mrs. Tawana. Hair Diva. Andrea. Porcelanista. Ooh, ooh, Angel. So, listen, guys. Um... Earlier, I was trying to do a, a video about the braid list, but there was so much construction going on. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to stop for a little bit, but we, we don't got no construction now, so it's good. This is a, a sample or a demo of a customer who has um, advanced stages of female pattern baldness. But look at all that hair that that she has. There's a lot of people like that who um, have a lot of hair in the back and on the sides, but they're, you know, missing the hair up on top. They don't want a full braided weave. They just don't. They don't feel comfortable with it. They want their own hair out, you know. So let's give them what they want. I have created... With my Braidless Buddy tracks, I have created several tracks back here that will hold all the hair that we want. And also, hello, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining. And uh, if you leave, you know, watch later. This is going to get good. So now I have created all of the Braidless tracks, safe and secure braidless tracks and I want to introduce you guys to this little guy this is a very interesting little guy or girl I should say she's a queen her name is Queen Victoria but this one is Queen Victoria for the braidless now it's got lace on the crown where the skin is touching but there's no lace on the sides because we're going to be integrating her own hair into the whole thing. So this is going to get nitty gritty. This is going to get good, guys. I can't wait to put it on. Uh, so basically what I do is to make sure that it is even in the middle. Uh, I put it on, on my doll heads, I put it behind the ear. On the customer, it just, the strands behind the ear, okay? Uh, and then tie it, but some people don't need the strands behind the ear. Some people have a small head. It's better to put the strands behind the ear first. But when they don't have a small head, it's just fine straight downward. Another thing is when you are, um, applying the top part the top piece is that you make sure the middle is exactly uh, centered to the nose also girl don't be putting your wee buddy way back here hello uh yeah no you want your wee buddy forward because that's your new hairline you want the wee buddy to be where the new hairline is going to be. You're going to be sewing some hair up in the front here. You don't need no no you you don't need to start the hairline like way back here. I understand that the customer doesn't have a hairline anymore. She doesn't have any hair up here, but we are going to create the hair. And why are you going to put the wee buddy way back there when you can put it way more forward? Okay, and create a new full hairline. Do you guys believe that we can do this? Who believes that we can do this? All right. So it's even, it's in the middle. Okay, and since usually I, I tell my students start sewing in the middle, start sewing in the middle and then work your way down to the left and to the right. Hey, 
Hi, Miss Sweet Tea. But there's no hair there to sew. So what I'm going to do first then is sew where there is hair. You always need to have a base to start with. You always need to have some kind, some security, okay? Now, notice I'm, I haven't used, I'm not gonna use my, my protective paddles until I'm at the front, but for now, um, I, I'm going to start work at the place where there's going to be uh, a connection with the braidless tracks and this uh, and and this new um, braidless buddy hairline protect hairline and scalp protector. Okay, so that's number one. I gotta have a secure connection here. That starts everything. Okay, this is all I'm gonna do right now, and then I'm going I'm gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, this is a braidless application okay it's not going to go on top of all of that hair like that guys there's a reason why there's only lace here and there's no lace here okay we're going to be integrating have you guys ever heard of the word integrating oh thank you daryl you're so sweet thank you uh, i appreciate that um so now we are going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, what you do to one side, you do to the other side. Don't worry about the middle part yet. We are just only focusing on getting the this piece laid on firmly and, and securely and starting it off that way, okay? This is for a customer who wants to have her own hair out but she is completely you know advanced to complete female um, hair loss uh, female pattern baldness at the top area but she still does not she doesn't want a full sew and weave you know what I'm saying she still wants to have her hair out there is a way to do that and we're going to be doing it see so now it's already it's on there. That's not gonna be moved, okay? The next thing I wanna do, guys, is slowly but surely, and guys, be patient with me because um, this, is a, this is a little new to me, okay? Uh, but I, I have got a vision and I know that this is going to work. Um, we're gonna be integrating the hair. Okay, so we've got rows of hair already prepared but so now I want to go in okay and maybe because the holes are so big I could use um, my rat tail comb it might be easier so let's see I'm gonna go in here and just kind of integrate this hair out through the weave buddy because you want it to be flat guys before we sew in the weave buddy to those corners, we wanna make sure that it's as flat as it can be. You know what I'm saying? So I want to integrate that hair out there. So that's step, that's the first row. Let's keep doing rows, okay? Let's do more rows. And as we integrate that hair, um, it's going to start getting flatter right here. Then that way we can sew down that the weave buddy hairline protector to these um, to to the braidless tracks that we created earlier. If you guys, anyone who's joining us who did not see me create the braidless tracks, you can go back to see how I created the braidless tracks on this. Um, demo okay you want to make sure it's going to be a nice flat application and this this her front hair here 
doesn't have to get integrated because that can be left right at the front, okay? It's just these sides that we want to make sure that are nice and flat for this sewing, okay? Guys, I know I'm going to get this. I had my vision already. Once, once you get your vision, you know, it's just a matter of time to, um, to implement it. Right, guys? Um, so I, I'm implementing my vision right now. And this is going to be a nice, flat application of the braidless buddy joined with the braidless tracks that um, that we have, that we offer. Okay, what we want to do is be able to have a strong and secure um, application of full head of hair extensions without the hair um, damage, without the hair extension needs, extensions damaging the customer's um, scalp more than it is already damaged. You know what I mean guys? So let's get this nice and flat. Once, see, see how it's getting nice and flat? Once that's flat, I'm going to go ahead and take the edge of that weave buddy there and secure it to the braidless track that I created at the corner there, okay? Ooh, girl, this is going to be good, okay? I already can see this. This is going to be good. Um, you don't have to integrate the hair, but it's a lot better. You have, you know, it, it's flatter. The, custom, the customers, when they have straight hair and they have... They just they want to they want to use their hair out. They want their hair. They want to integrate their hair. It's a thing guys It's a thing and so let's give it to them. Let's give them their hair So I just want to make sure this is as flat as it gets And I'm gonna go ahead and secure this corner Make it nice and flat right here. So that's nice and flat Secure that corner too. We have several, I have several tracks that I created already. Braidless tracks that I created. So this is getting attached to the braidless tracks that we have already created, okay? This is just gnarly, guys. So now the customer is going to be able to have a firm and secure way of wearing her hair extensions, being able to leave her own hair out. And as you can see, her own hair also serves as a buffer for when you're lifting up that hair. Okay, and then now let's go ahead and go and do that to the other side. But guys, Shoot, we're, we're almost done. Like once you do that, you could start filling in the hair. You can start, you can attach this piece, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna do all that, but I'm just saying, you know, it it's worth the extra little extra time that you take to do this this these steps for your customer because she'll have a firm and secure hairline, crown area. Man, this is gonna be good. Do you guys have any questions right now? I appreciate you joining. Um, this is the, you know, this is the new advanced way of doing things, guys. No more, like, no more pain and damage. Let's stop the pain. Let's stop the damage. Uh, when people are getting their braidless systems put in, there's still damage. There's still more damage going on. And with the Wee Buddy, they're able to have their hair extensions and the Wheat Buddy is a very, very strong base that is going to take the pulling, the pressure, and guys, even the pain. 
The Weed Buddy takes on all of that so that your customer is only left with the fun part. She's left with having a full head of wonderful hair that's not pulling on her, that's not causing any damage or any pain, and also stays, stays for a full duration. How awesome is that, guys? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ms. Magnolia. I appreciate it, and hello to you. Um, so right now what I'm doing is just basically pulling out. It's like, you know, the integrations back in the day where you would, you would put a system on and pull the client's hair through. Why was this important? Because the customer loves to have, if possible, this is a procedure, okay? That's not all my weed buddies, but this is a system um, that allows the customer to have their own hair in between and integrated with, with their hair extensions. Some people just love that, guys, and we have to be able to offer that. We have to be able to offer all of the options, okay? The more options, the better. What I hate about weaves is their tracks go back in about three weeks. Um, is that the case that's happening with you even though you're, you're using the weave buddy now, Daryl? Is it still going back on you? Because it is, if it is, then we seriously need to have a chat about taking my class. Um, let me know because um, it shouldn't be going back in three weeks. So I am getting that hair pulled out of there so that it could be nice and flat. And then once that's as flat as I can make it, remember the edges here, it don't matter. It's just here at the corner that we gotta get that real flat which feels really flat to me, guys. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually attaching the weave buddy onto the hairline part, okay, onto the braidless tracks that we've already created earlier today when I did that into the, um, the sample of the braidless buddies earlier today, okay? So now I'm attaching it to those and it's coming along really good. I'm really excited and really happy. The reason why is be, I'm really excited and really happy guys is because I just got the vision to do the one, this whole one for, uh, I've, I've never done braidless, put it that way, on this much um, hair loss. And so that's why I'm super, super excited. Um, it's on. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So making sure that this is going to be nice and secure because we're going to add a bunch of hair and we just, just want it to be strong and safe, you know, for the customer. So now, you know, I've added the, the sides. I've added the, all the tracks. There's all kinds of tracks under here, guys, that I created earlier today. And so we're gonna be doing a full sew-in with all of those tracks. And then so now the only thing I have left to do here is to secure the crown area and then we'll be ready to be popping, okay? We'll be ready to do this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and have the needle travel upward and start making sure that this part is secure. Work on both sides, make sure everything is, is even Nothing is pulling, you know, more on one side than the other. Right now, I'm just really gently making sure that this is going to be straight. 
I'm not really doing my heavy sewing yet or my heavy like, you know, knotting or anything. First, I want to make sure that it's in position without it being crooked. Okay, guys? So, if anyone has questions, now is the time to ask them because I'm here and, uh, and, and I'm ready to answer any questions. But so now I'm going to go ahead and... Again, go to, I did the, to the, the other side. I'm doing it to this side now. Just gently making sure everything is before I do my heavy sewing. Just making sure that is on evenly. And then I'm going to go back and, and once it's on evenly, um, then I'm going to go back and do some knotting and, and making sure that it doesn't move. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So at this point, it's just making sure that it's on correctly and that evenly. Okay, guys? Now, I have um, braidless webs throughout, throughout this whole thing that I created earlier today. So that's what I'm attaching this lace onto right now are the braidless webs that I created earlier. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. I am creating a full sew-in with my braidless buddy system. This is actually a new addition to my braidless buddy system. It's the braidless buddy with the reina victoria um, and it's the reina victoria braidless so we have um on the reina victoria braidless we have holes that are integrate that you're able to integrate the customer's own hair through um, and it's just a really fun great piece that you can use with your braidless Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for joining. This is this is just a wonderful thing. I love it. I, I love it so much. Now I'm going to go ahead and start now um, doing a little bit more firm sewing. Well, I'm running out of thread here, so I'm going to have to get a new thread again. But now is where you can go ahead and go in and tighten this up, make everything super tight, close it up, make it all nice and firm, okay? guys if you're just joining we are preparing a head of hair that has um, severe female pattern baldness at the crown area and it's severe so it's not just a little it's a lot but a lot of times customers they don't they don't want to do a full weave they want to have their own hair out as well. When that's the case, then let's give it to them. Let's give them an opportunity to have their own hair out. So I've integrated her hair through the sides here. So when we sew in the extensions, we'll just make sure to, um, to, to have her their own hair out, okay? When you're integrating, make sure that it's as flat as it can get here. Ooh, that was just the strand. I have it behind the ear, so it's nice and tight. Okay, and then let me go ahead and do another needle. So guys, does anyone who's watching, does anyone have customers who like the braidless cracks and have you fallen into a situation 
where they have damage and um, balding so it's super hard to get the full look with the braidless how, how are you getting a full look if they're you know if they have a lot of damage well with the weave buddy the braidless weave buddy system you can give them a full look my mom's weave buddy is still in place and it's been five weeks and it's still in place it does not pull back oh great i'm so happy that's awesome that makes me very happy and that's what it's about that's what it's about now if you have any customers who like the braidless but you know they have fine thin hair you know you and but they they just don't want to wear weaves they want to do the braidless now you have an option you can use the weave buddy braidless for them and create a nice fabulous and secure full weave without without the braids now what I'm doing is going in and making sure everything is nice and yeah, that I'm designing a nice and tight um, fit, you know? It, it, when I say tight, I don't mean like, oh, they're gonna, it's gonna hurt them or anything. I just mean that there are no bubbles, that there's, you know, no buckling, everything, and everything is just nice and flat. It fits like a glove. The way I'm doing is this is by making sure that, you know, I'm using the lace and I'm gathering the lace together so that it can become and become customized to her. You see what I mean? So that it's like a perfect fit for her. Because, you know, Lord forbid it buckles and then you got this big old horn up there. She's not going to want to walk around like that. So you got to make sure that, you know, that you customize it to fit her. And it, it can fit her perfectly. Okay, guys? So there we go. That is part two of the Braidless Buddy Full Hair Installation on women who have severe um, female pattern baldness. And as you can see now, there has not been any braids at all or glue. And she's got a nice, wonderful, flat, uh, um, secure base that we're gonna have so much fun sewing in all of the hair and just giving her the look that she desires and wants without damage, without glue, without tape, and um, braidless. So there you have it, guys. That's part two, and I'll come back shortly for part three.